Well, I just wanted to do a quick explanation to, to finish the question about um, what would scientists have to be or do in order to be able to, to prove conclusively that God doesn't exist. And this is not a trick question, but it is a thinking question. And the only way that a scientist would be able to prove that God doesn't exist is if that scientist knew as much as God did. You see, if a scientist knew everything that existed in every dimension of existence, then that scientist would be able to prove that God doesn't exist. But anything less than that, it would be impossible. Some of you got pretty well because you said that it was not possible because they could only measure things in this dimension of existence. And that was good, but that's not what the question was. The question was, what would they have to be able to do? And what they would have to be able to do is be God, because only God would be able, a God who is equal in power and knowledge, um, only that God would be able to know for certain that no other God existed, right? That's the whole point, which then makes it very ironic, because in a sense, science is trying to be God, because what they're trying to do is replace God and say, no, we're the only ones who can make decisions about what's real and what's not real, what's true and what's not true. Um, and so, ironically, scientists cannot figure it out because they're not God. And one of you said, which I thought was very clever, you said, well, if they could, then God wouldn't be God because God is supposed to be invisible and God's supposed to be infinite and God's supposed to belong in his own dimension. And all of those were really good answers. And that person got a nine out of 10. But the, the full answer is only God, a God who is equal in knowledge and in power and in infinity would be able to prove conclusively that there is no other God. Okay, have a great day day and may God, the true God who does know all things, bless you richly.